Tuesday, November 11, 2008, people and organizations around the nation gathered to commemorate Veterans Day. At the Joint Forces Training Base in Los Alamitos, hundreds visiting the base were entertained with activity and informed about services by more than 40 resource booths with services available for everyone from employment to enjoyment. Veteran Services projects more needs in the future for soldiers returning from combat in Iraq and Afghanistan. The Veteran Service Center at the base is currently available for transitional assistance to soldiers as they work their way back into civilian life. The activity today was also to unveil the construction of a new memorial park and expanded facilities for the center. Community Relations Specialist 2nd Lieutenant Heather Hagen discussed the activity for the day at the center and the new facility to be built at the Joint Forces Training Base. Today we are hosting along with the VA of Long Beach the Veterans Day celebration and we have more than 40 booths to service our service members of all military branches including a children's playground with a climbing rock and also free lunch and free haircuts and other services. It's not a job fair. What I want to emphasize here, it's resources to enhance the delivery of their benefits and entitlements absolutely free to them. Now that also brings us to another event that's happening today, a groundbreaking. Can you elaborate on that? Yes, we are having a groundbreaking ceremony today and it's the unveiling of the new AMVETS Park. We are going to also unveil two bronze statues that will be situated in the park. This is symbolic to the actual construction that will begin starting tomorrow and we will also have an opportunity to meet Tommy Lasarda, who will introduce two veterans um, who are going to share their testimonies and what it's like. That's a flyover, sir, right now. Um, two veterans and so they can share their testimonies and what it's like to be a veteran and how it's impacted their life. Now you told me that there's several phases to this, this uh, building of this facility. Can you elaborate on that? Please? Yes, there's been three phases slotted out. Our first phase was getting the Veteran Service Center up and operational. It is open 24-7 and that's what you see behind me. Our second phase is the groundbreaking of the AMVETS Park, and the third phase is the Heritage Center, which will host all types of military displays, history, including um, other types of venues to help educate our youth and our, our veterans, their families, and the community and the general population. The VA of Long Beach was there to let vets know they are available to lend assistance if needed. We're representing the VA from the, yeah, from VA Long Beach for our OEF, OIF veterans, which is for Operation Enduring Freedom and Iraqi Freedom. And our booth particularly is for, uh, we're the transition center. So we have a group of case managers, uh, which myself included, that further assist our men and women that are returning in back in the country from uh, deployments and, and what have you to helping them navigate through the VA system, actually. So this is a re really new service, and, and the VA is offering it uh, online as well, I mean, the information that people Registration. Get, how, how can people get in touch with you if they're watching this news report mm -hmm. and they're thinking, you know, I, I'd Just like to get in touch with that. Specifically here at the Long Beach Healthcare Center, Health Center, mm -hmm. how can they get in contact with you? Well, I'll tell you, the key words are the transition center, so they could call that 1-800 number VA wherever and uh, say, I need to speak to a case manager for the OEF, OIF Transition Center, which is there to help aid these, uh, these returning combat veterans. And are all cases confidential? Of course. Yeah. Longtime Dodgers skipper Tommy Lasorda gave the crowd a spirited talk, as only he could, and related his experiences as the coach for the USA Olympic baseball team. I'm proud to be here, and to all the veterans who are here, I say thank you for wearing that uniform. You wore it with pride, dignity, and character. And those who are serving today, and you're in that uniform, thank God. Wear the uniform with pride. Don't do, do anything to embarrass that uniform, or embarrass your country, or embarrass yourself. And I wore four uniforms, Boy Scouts, United States Army, 
Well, the uniform of the Dodgers now going on 59 years, and I wore the uniform when I coached the Olympic team, and it said USA in front of it. Yeah. I, met, I met with the players in San Diego. 24 players, 23 I never saw play. Didn't know who they were. But I told them, I said, I don't know who you are. I don't know where you come from. I don't know if you're married or single. I don't know if you're good, mediocre, or bad. But I'm going to tell you something right now. When this thing is all over, the whole world's going to know who you are. You know why? Because we're going to bring that gold medal where it belongs in baseball in the United States. That's what you're going to do. And you, that you do not represent your family here. You do not represent the school that you went to. You do not represent your hometown, nor do you represent the organization that signed it. You now represent the United States of America, and you'll be proud of that, and you do everything you can for that. He was followed by returning veterans from current conflicts in Iraq and Afghanistan who related their experiences and how being a war veteran has affected their lives. It's an honor to me. Pretty sure it's an honor to most of us that's out here. And I'm very proud to be an American veteran. Thank you all. Construction of the new AMVET American Veterans Park will begin this month and continue through the next year until completion. Veterans from all wars and volunteers from all walks of life are welcome at the Veterans Service Center during the construction. Ken McKinney, SoCal News Services. One, two, three. USA!